I guess the first place we should go to is, uh, let's go watch the movie, why not, right? Yeah, I feel like right now, in terms of who is the most suspicious, the people at the hospital are definitely more suspicious than the people at the motel. So that's, uh, Mikan, Akane, and Nagito. Actually, it's very strange, but out of everybody, I suspect Nagito the least. So, I don't know what that means. Let's see this movie! I've been wanting to see it for such a long time! Thank God, I get to see it now. Yeah. Why, hello there, Hajime. I knew you'd come here. That means you noticed it too, right? The case this time is an imitation case in which the killer used that movie as their theme. I wouldn't know. I haven't watched that movie yet. No, really? I see. Then you should really watch this movie first. Oh. Hey, manager! A customer's here! Yunda? Yes! Did you call me? Are, are. Huh? Hajime's a customer? Do you have a problem with that? <laughs> and you said you didn't want to watch it, but I knew you wanted to see it all along. If that's what Tsundere Hajime looks like, then you're a really tough guy! <laughs> you were so devoted to being Tsundere, you even bought that Monokuma sticker for 1.5 million dollars! Huh? You paid 1.5 million dollars for a sticker? It's nothing! Even Nagito is judging us. In exchange for not watching this movie, Hajime paid 1.5 million dollars for a Monokuma sticker! Come on! Since we're talking about it anyway, why did you show it to Nagito? Stop it! But my resistance was in vain, and Monokuma reached into my pocket and took the sticker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See? It's this one! I'm sorry, I was born stupid. Son? You bought this for 1.5 million dollars? Then in the end, he's still gonna watch the movie! Who cares about that anymore? Just hurry up and give me an invitation ticket! Okay, here you go! Great, now we're gonna be bored to death and 1.5 million dollars in debt. It already says so on the invitation ticket, but it's only effective today at this time. By the way, I can only give away one ticket per person. You only have one chance to watch it for free. Oh, is that gonna come in handy? I've already stamped today's date onto the ticket, so you won't be able to cheat! Don't worry, I only plan to watch it once. Okay, I'm under the impression that everybody besides me watched it, so I'm not sure why they're giving me so many details about that ticket. Then I'll go prepare the projection reel! Please wait a bit, okay? Ha, <sighs> Hajime, about that invitation ticket, I strongly recommend you keep that safe. Huh? Why? No reason, just think of it as a protective charm. Hmm, if Nagito says so, then I'll trust him. 2.5D, my favorite kind of thing. I guess I should just wait until Murukuma finishes his preparations. Yeah, so that, that hemp bag, it's actually the tote bag, isn't it? Or is it just something similar, with the same decal on it? Hajime, I can't believe you bought that thing, and you paid 1.5 million dollars for it too. But even you said you should have just settled it with money to get out of seeing that movie. <sighs> You're right, but that means I would have had to buy that thing, you know? Just leave me alone. <laughs> We're being judged! We're being judged! I don't like this! That reminds me. That item should be on top of a counter. This one looks like a tote bag made of hemp cloth, with a decal of Monomi's face on it. Okay, so earlier they called it a tote bag, but it's actually the same thing. Ah, did they catch your eye? It's an all-purpose tote bag, blah blah blah! Limited item, only one person can have it! I got the sticker, someone got the bag. If the tote bag is gone, that means... Well then, were you interested in buying that tote bag? Well, that's just too bad! It's already sold out! Who'd you sell it to? Shh, 
stupid. There's no way I'd fall for that. There's no way I'd see something that'll reveal who the killer is. <laughs> so the killer bought it? Haha, <laughs> thank you. Ah! I remember you said there was only one because it's a limited item, right? Uh, I mean, it's not limited to one. It's more like it's limited to one person. What? So... One person, once they buy it, they can get like multiple copies of the bag? What's the difference? When you buy one bag, you get another one for free. It's a common practice to bait customers with bonus prizes. For some reason, hearing you say that pisses me off. Well, at least he's not selling us a vase. Now then, I should forget that I carelessly made a slip of the tongue. Looks like the preparations are complete, so please enter the theater right away. Boop, boop, boop. This is exciting! Exciting! Well, can we get some food? Well, I mean, you can still get some food just to watch the movie, right? Fine, be that way. I'm so excited. Look on the side. This movie sucks. Naughty bear. <laughs> I apologize for keeping you waiting. World famous director Monokuma presents a stunning masterpiece that reduced American audiences to tears. The Wizard of Monomi 2.5D will be screening shortly. From the title alone, I have a bad feeling about this. 2.5D, that sounds so half-assed. Now then, please relax and enjoy the film! The Wizard of Monomi 2.5D The <laughs> What the hell? They have like a model number for the helicopter and everything. Monomi まほつかいものみに会いに行く旅を始めました。その道中で彼は心強い仲間たちと出会うことになります。脳みそがないものみライオンと出会ったので。<笑> Oh, this one didn't happen yet, right? Oh, it could be Ibu, or it could be Hyoko, I guess. Maybe? Maybe that's why they have the Monomikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikik
Nothing about a throat being slit or anything, but uh, let's see what happens then. Man, movies are the best! That drama was so moving that I needed two boxes of tissues! One for each head! Now then, let's meet again at the class trial! I'm too disgusted to even let out a sigh right now. That's all I can say to describe the situation. How was it? Actually, I don't even have to ask. I totally expected your reaction. That was honestly the worst movie I've ever seen. Is it even okay to call that a movie? <sighs> but thanks to that movie, now you know, right? Yeah. Just like he said, the characters who were killed in the movie match the victims in this case. Ibuki's death by hanging matched the Scarecrow's death in the movie. Not just that, but Hyoko's suspended body matches the lion's death, too. Does it? It would have been a complete imitation if the killer killed three people, but it seems that wasn't possible. <laughs> Perhaps the killer is upset about that right now? Or... If the killer's main goal was just an imitation murder, they should be upset about it, but... I'm not sure if that's even true. Why though? We were all getting along. Why did someone just decide, okay, you know what? I'm not feeling so good today. I'm gonna go kill some people. Like, I just don't know why. But maybe if they wanted to kill three people, like after they killed two, Monokuma came up and was like, no, you can't kill a third one because it's a new rule now. I don't know, something like that. I'm actually more interested in this movie, Wild Gunman Monokuma and his four friends. Anyways. So, should we check out the motel or the hospital first? Eh, I guess since we're here. No need to think too hard. I feel like I haven't been here in a while, even though it's only really been a few days. Yeah. Feels like forever. Hey, you prepared the surveillance camera unit, right? Yeah, so? I didn't make any weird modifications or anything. It's not like I'm suspicious or anything. Didn't you get this from that shady looking alley where all the machines were lined up? That's it? Yeah, I just tweaked it a little. Then, if there were other surveillance camera units, would it be possible to transmit a signal to the hospital from those cameras too? Ah. Uh -huh. No, that's impossible. And yeah, and it wouldn't be like that anyway because you know, you knew it was the music venue, so... Originally, surveillance cameras and surveillance monitors are only used as a part of the same unit. The video that was filmed with a hospital camera can only be viewed on the hospital monitor. The video that was filmed with a music venue camera can only be seen on the music venue monitor. But if I left it like that, we wouldn't have been able to communicate, so I decided to swap the cameras. So that's how you guys were able to view the hospital footage from the music venue and vice versa. However, each surveillance camera unit manages its broadcast based on a specific number. So, even if you bring the same model camera or monitor, you won't be able to interfere with a signal. Meaning, even if another surveillance camera exists, it'll be impossible to broadcast with it. Huh? However, I didn't just swap the cameras. I modified them and increased the wireless range. If I hadn't done that, we wouldn't have been able to use it. You're right, you did work on that. Okay, so that entire conversation just now, what was that trying to say? That the footage we saw is definitely- there's no hacking or anything. Same camera units. Okay. Yeah, now we can look at this, huh? Eating and drinking is forbidden within the hospital building. Hmm... Wait. If patients do not need to be accompanied, overnight stays by non-patients are expressly forbidden. You know how Nagito got better? When did he actually get better though? Like, in the morning or in the middle of the night? Because if he gets 
better in the middle of the night. Does that mean that Monokuma will come kick Mikan out? Yeah. Hmm. Well, we know it's sometime before the morning announcement, That, but that's pretty much all the, the, the only thing about the time frame that we know. Oh. Oh, you want to look at the camera? There is a surveillance camera unit on top of the reception desk. As long as the music venue surveillance camera unit is destroyed, it's impossible to broadcast with this. Hey, Hajime! There's something I want to ask you. You first discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue, right? But why did you go to the music venue? You had a reason for that, right? Did you see something with this camera? Oh, I also wanted to ask you that. It'd be different if the surveillance camera unit could record, but it's only good for household functions. Tell me, Hajime. Yeah, that's exactly it. I saw a strange video in the surveillance camera unit. It showed the music venue stage. There was a black curtain hanging like there is now. But the whole display was pretty dark because they were just using candlelight. There was rope hanging from the ceiling, and beneath that, there was a stepladder on the floor. And right away... A person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head appeared. I didn't know who it was because their face was covered, but now I know that must have been Ibuki. Hmm. She walked straight into the stepladder and without any hesitation... She climbed that stepladder of her own free will, and then she grabbed that rope and... That's all I saw. The candlelight being used must have been snuffed out or something because... The screen went dark all of a sudden, and it wasn't displaying anything anymore. Okay, if the candlelight was snuffed out, that means someone else has to be here, right? So there were two people at the music venue here. Like, I would have to assume Hyoko and Ibuki, but then where is the killer now? Yeah, I don't... Hmm. Ah. Well, if the candlelight goes out, obviously nothing will show up. Modern surveillance cameras have infrared functions, so things can still show up, even in the dark. But the one I got from the machine alley was a really old model. Ah, uh, hold on. At the time, you said you didn't know the person wearing the hemp bag was Ibuki, right? Yeah. You didn't know it was her, but you saw she was trying to hang herself. So you rushed over to the music venue to try to stop her. But I didn't make it in time. Still, if she climbed that stepladder on her own, does that mean she committed suicide? Wouldn't that mean she's like her own killer? Ibuki committed suicide? What do you think, Chiaki? There's no doubt Ibuki climbed the step ladder on her own, right? Yeah, there's no doubt. If so... Mm. Mm. Hey, don't think for so long. If you don't know, just be honest about it. Well, of course she doesn't. There's no way we'd be able to figure that out so easily. Oh, she's angry. Huh? Oh yeah, I need to investigate the conference room on the second floor. Ha! Huh. Is that where the black curtain comes from? Because I was thinking about that, but like, why do they need a black curtain? No. I'm heading over there. <laughs> what the heck? She ran away all of a sudden. She said the conference room, but why would she mention the conference room all of a sudden? Also, I might just be overthinking, but... Did she seem a little upset? Okay, there were very many things that she could have been upset about, so I'm not really sure which one it was. Like, which part? Was it the part about how we can't figure it out right away? Hello? Hmm... <sighs> I'm finally getting back to my normal self. Hajime! Help me with my recovery! You can touch my boobs if you win! I don't... okay. No thanks. She was bearable when she was quiet. It'd be so much better if she was still feeling the after effects. She'd beat me up if I said that out loud. Anyway, why are you here? No, no. Well, I've never been sick or hurt before, so I had no idea, but... 
Hospital gowns are pretty comfy. I was thinking I might as well keep wearing one. Don't tell me you plan on wearing hospital gowns from now on? Mm. That's the idea, but it looks like they're out of stock. Oh! That's a hint. It looked like there was one gown for each patient's room, so I thought there'd be more in the empty rooms. There weren't any gowns? Uh. Yup, that's right. Ibuki died wearing one, so the only one left is the one Nagito was wearing. <laughs> if I have no choice, then I should just use Nagito's. It's a unisex size, so I'll probably be able to fit in it. Hold on, what happened to the gown you were wearing? Are you saying I should wear the one I already wore? That's gross! Ugh, wearing clothes someone else was wearing is even grosser. You're gonna get boy cooties, Akane. No time to dilly-dally. I totally left Mikan back at the music venue. Mm. Crap! I gotta go back soon! Well, it's okay since I already investigated the music venue, but leaving her on guard duty was a bad idea. Akane or... Mm. Or Mikan, like... Uh, I really think the hospital people are much more suspicious. But, um... Okay, right off the bat, I think I can cross off Chiaki and Gundam. Those are the only two people I can confidently cross off for now. But everyone else... Oh, the name tag is gone. Hmm... They're all gone, because... Well, it should be a good thing, because that means everyone got better. What about Nekomaru, though? Like, I'm really scared that later they'll be like, Hey, surprise! Third victim! Imitation murder complete. Man. Okay, we know Chiaki is in the conference room, so let's look here first. Doesn't look like anything strange. Okay, it doesn't seem like there is anything here then. So I guess we just gotta look at the black curtain. Or the lack of a black curtain. I'm surprised the black curtain from the conference room would be large enough for the music venue though. Although they did mention earlier that the black curtain wasn't big enough. Still, it seems pretty small in here. What's this? It's pitch black. I can't see anything. Um, where's the switch? <sighs> Don't turn it on. Huh? Chiaki, are you there? That the... Uh, what? If you turn on the light, it's gonna be fully exposed. It'll be embarrassing. What? What? What's fully exposed? <laughs> hey, Hajime. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna poke them out? D I'm not gonna poke out my eyes. Gaggari. Oh, bummer. Wh what kind of a conversation is this? <laughs> okay. Troll fail. Oh, was she trying to make me like... Make my heart pound? <laughs> well, it worked, so... <laughs> no sooner did she finish saying that, I heard the dry sound of curtains being drawn. There was a flash of intense light that stung my eyes a little. I squinted my eyes until they started adjusting to the light. And I saw Chiaki had finished opening the curtain that was covering the window. Were you surprised? Surprised? I don't get it. Huh. Wait, the curtain is still here? But then there's also a curtain in the music venue. Wait, are you trying to tell me that this is the filming location for the video? What? I got it. Got what? The curtains in this conference room are designed to completely block out light. There's a projector in here, so they were probably careful about light shining through. See? A black curtain that blocks light, and it's also long enough to reach the floor. It's perfect. A black, light-blocking curtain. That's why it was so dark. 
So, is something wrong with it? <laughs> I'm still in the middle of investigating, so it's a secret. Yup, <laughs> she's upset. But still, what was all that about? That bit about being embarrassing if I look and troll fail? Mm -hmm. I just wanted to mess with you. <sighs> yep, she's definitely upset. Why is she acting so childish? Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, usually Chiaki is the quiet, mature one, right? She's always trying to cheer me up when I'm sad, calm me down when I'm upset, so why... Why is she pulling a prank of me of all people? Why... What did I say wrong? I guess I'm done investigating the hospital. I should move on to a different place. Hey, what did I say wrong? Hey, did I do something to make you angry? I'm not angry, I think. Well, are you or aren't you? If you're not angry, you wouldn't have done something so weird. Hmm. Yeah, I'm already over what happened earlier, so you don't have to worry about it. I think... Is she teasing me? Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Okay, what the heck did we do to upset her? Why she suddenly... It was like right after Kazuichi said, it's not like we can figure everything out or something like that, right? Hold the phone. We gotta find out why. What's up? Does it... Okay, wait. Hmm. Nope. Not previously. I wonder if this is related to how she's always suddenly... You know, she's normally very quiet, right? And then sometimes she'll have these random outbursts of being like, I'll find the killer no matter what, and things like that. Hmm. Hey, don't think for so long. If you don't know, just be honest about it. Well, of course she doesn't. There's no way we'd be able to figure that out so easily. Yeah, that's when she got upset about it, right? Is she upset that we basically called her stupid? <laughs> well, we didn't call her stupid. Hajime just really meant, Hey, it's hard for anyone to figure it out if we weren't the killers because, you know, we're not the killers. Oh well. Just don't ignore me for like half a chapter and not let me spend any free time with you, okay? Because I'd be very sad about that. And you know how sad I was when Kyoko did the thing. Okay, why did we walk all the way out here? I don't know. Let's see. There's the movie theater and the motel. Should we go back to the music venue? I don't know. Anyway, we gotta get out here. Motel. Hang on. There we go. 700 more steps. So many. Because I keep taking shortcuts these days, so... It's going by really slowly. I just remembered. I never went inside any of the rooms in the motel. Plus, I don't even know where Hyoko's room is. It might be faster just to ask someone. Remember how Hyoko locked herself inside? Why? What could have made her come out? That's strange. The only thing that could have made her come out is if someone told her, Hey, the disease is over, right? Not that. You're here, right? Come on out. Huh? Are you talking to me? I can see you. Did you really think you could hide your presence like that? I wasn't trying to hide in the first place. Hey, which room was Hyoko staying in? <laughs> Open the door to the center room. <laughs> However, are you prepared? Make sure you pray to whatever god you hold dear, and you might want to bring an extra pair of underwear. <laughs> I wonder, how does this guy talk to his parents and teachers? I don't- don't think about it. Maybe- maybe his uh, parents are like that too, who knows? Uh. Hey, Hajime, can you explain it to me again? What happened when you first discovered Ibuki's body? It was the same as when I found it with you guys. Ibuki's body was hanging from the baton lighting. However, there was no body discovery announcement made. That's why I went to get you guys. I met up with Chiaki at this motel, 
and we were about to go back to the music venue. You met up with Mikan and me. And when we went back to the music venue, the entrance door wouldn't open for some reason. So we had no choice but to break down the door, and discovered Hyoko's body was suddenly there too. Yeah, that's what happened. This is the most important part. When you arrived at the motel, who else saw you besides Chiaki? Um, as I recall... Monomi? Gundam? Besides Chiaki, I also saw Gundam and Monomi. I see. So Kazuchi and Sonia didn't appear, huh? Do you think those two are suspicious? Well, I don't know if they are suspicious, but I know that Gundam and Chiaki are not. Unless if they really, you know, made some master plan that's... I don't know. I don't want to think about that, okay? Well, Hyoko was killed. Between the time you saw Ibuki's body and when we broke down the door, right? So obviously, those two are the most suspicious since they weren't with us. That... that might be it, but... While we're at it, let me tell you my alibi too. When the morning Monokuma announcement woke me up, I went straight to the hospital. I saw Mikan panicking in front of the hospital. I asked her what's going on. She said Ibuki disappeared. So you guys split up and looked for Ibuki, huh? While we were circling the island, we came to the motel and saw you guys there. Did you see anyone else while you circled the island? Yeah. No, we went to the movie theater and that street full of machines to look for Ibuki, but we didn't see anyone. <laughs> Are you implying I don't have an alibi because I didn't run into anyone? It's unreasonable for you to doubt me. The time that Mika and I were on our own looking for Ibuki wasn't very long. <laughs> In that short time, there's no way I could have killed Hyoko and wrapped her around the pillar with duct tape. It's true, I feel like there wasn't enough time to do that after I left the music venue. But the fact is, Hyoko was killed and we did discover her body. Huh? What? Do you still doubt me? I think from an airtight alibi perspective... No, I do not think Fuyuhiko's alibi is airtight. But from a character development perspective, I don't believe Fuyuhiko would kill anybody. Well, I'm used to it. It's true I've done some things I deserve to be doubted for. <laughs> so, don't worry. Even if you doubt me, I don't plan on dismembering you and encasing you in concrete. I'd want to know in advance what I'd have to do to end up like that. Hmm. Well... <sighs> Alright, let's go in. Looks like it's locked, but... The key was inside her kimono. Maybe if I use this... It opened. Just as I thought, this key was Hyoko's room key. All right, I should go inside. So, Hyoko was staying here. She only stayed here a few nights, so it doesn't feel like her room, but... I feel a little conflicted. Huh? Did the door open? Yeah. Hyoko put the key in her kimono, so I used that to open it. How did you get in here? I see... What? Did something happen? No, it is just... I am starting to believe it might be my fault. Her fault? What does she mean? Whoa, hold the phone, lady. Hmm... Oh! Be very, very quiet. This room doesn't really look spectacular in any fashion, though, so... Let's see what Sonia has to say first. The moment Hyoko came to this motel, she completely shut herself in this room. She was afraid of the despair disease, so she was cautious of you guys too, right? However, her fear of the disease was not the only reason she locked herself in her room. She had another reason. Besides that disease, 
What other reason would make her lock herself in her room? Her kimono. Her kimono? Um, yesterday, I went to go talk to her. Since she had been in her room for some time, I told her it might be good for her to go outside for a bit. She kept the door to her room locked, but by coincidence, it was not locked at the time. And then, I saw it. Oh, she can't put it on. Hyoko was crying and struggling with her kimono sash. She did not want to smell bad, so she took a shower, but then she could not tie her sash anymore. Mahiru is no longer with us, so I believe she was having trouble with it. She didn't want to leave her room because she couldn't tie her kimono, huh? The others might have thought it was just a silly sash, but it must have been a serious issue for her. Well, she is the ultimate traditional dancer. Hiyoko told me that she learned how to tie her sash from Mahiru. And that Mahiru kindly taught her the basics. That's why she wanted to be able to tie her sash on her own. She probably could not forgive herself for not being able to do it, especially since Mahiru taught her. I... I could not really understand her feelings, which is why I said what I did. Oh? What did you say? さ、Oh, my god. The music venue had a mirror. A full-length mirror. Okay, well... I thought that Sonia said something fucked up or mean to her, so I'm glad to know that that wasn't the case. And that's when she kicked me out. Could it be? Hyoko remembered that? Are you saying she went to the music venue to wear her kimono? Hmm, I can see that happening. Hyoko locked her room and made sure she put the room key inside her kimono. I can't imagine that she was abducted by someone. If so, that's weird. Hey, did you tell anyone about that before the incident? Or was someone listening in on your conversation? I, I never told this to anyone, and I do not believe anyone was listening in on our conversation. Nobody knew? Hmm, so did the killer really just... I don't... Hmm... That's very strange then, because I still believe right now that, um, Hyoko died first. And then Ibuki died later, but then if Hyoko died first, why? Why did the killer kill two people? If that's the case, how did the killer know Hyoko was going to the music menu? Something's wrong. I hope Ibuki going to the music menu doesn't have anything to do with how, um, you know that one night that we saw her? She's like, after I get better again, uh, let me go to the music venue and sing you a song. Cause, um, yeah. What? I don't even... Uh, <laughs> there's just so much shit going on. Hmm. Doesn't look like Hyoko was abducted. Is that it? Nope. Sink. There's a mirror, but it's so small and rusty. And cracked. I don't see anything else that looks suspicious. There's no sign that someone made a mess of her room, and I don't think she was forcefully abducted. Is it a coincidence? Oh, are you kidding me? Yahoo! <laughs> 
だからまたモノクマロックの前までなる早で集まってねぷぷぷぷじゃあまた後でね It's already time. So, this again. I need to go to that place again. But now's not the time to be a coward. The reason Ibuki and Hyoko became victims in order to find the truth. The only thing I can do is go. This is bullshit, and I feel like the investigation this time was、uh, significantly shorter than previously. Which I feel like tends to be the case the more the further along we are, anyway, so I guess that's not too surprising. But、uh, one thing that I just remembered、uh, just now when we were looking at Hyoko's room. You know how. Do you remember how previously I mentioned that Hyoko. Wait, let's look at this. Not that it means anything, but um. Hyoko. Hyoko means. Oh my god, I never even looked at this before. The whole dead portrait. Jesus. Oh, even though she has a rude mouth and pretends to cry, I feel like I managed to understand her a little bit. That's so sad. Anyway, Hyoko means a、uh, little baby chick, right? The, the sound, Hyoko, means baby chick. But when you look at the kanji in her name, Hyoko literally means the child who tends toward the sun. And if you think about that in conjunction with, with、uh, here, Mahiru, which、uh, remember means broad daylight or like afternoon. So basically, the sun. So the sun and the child who tends toward the sun. So it's kind of. Makes me really sad thinking about it, that's what. Ugh, God. Okay, where are we now? Are we on the same. Are we on the right island? Okay, well, we can walk around a little bit, I guess. No. No! We shouldn't go there first. This time I won't make that mistake again. I'm gonna go check out, um. The truth bullets first. Yeah, let's do that, and then we'll go to the Monokuma Rock next time. Monokuma file number three. There are two victims this time Ibuki and Hyoko. Ibuki's cause of death was crushed windpipe as a result of choking. There are no other external injuries. Hyoko's cause of death was blood loss due to her throat being slit by a sharp edged tool. It appears her death was instant. Okay, so I don't believe we came across any sharp edged tools in our search. There were bloodstains on the soles of Ibuki's feet, which means that Hyoko died before Ibuki. The rope used for hanging, according to Mikan, there is no doubt that the cause of Ibuki's death was her hanging herself with this rope. Yeah, I mean, right now, Mikan and Akane are at the top of my shit list, my、uh, list of suspects, so I'm not sure how much I trust her autopsy report. <laughs> hmm. And I really don't want this to be something stupid like, oh, someone ordered me to do so, so I killed myself. Like, as you know, Ibuki had that disease going on. That would make me so sad. Ah,、oh, it's just so frustrating. It's just so frustrating that our last moments with Ibuki was when she wasn't even herself. That makes me so sad. <sighs> do you ever realize how much someone means to you, but you only realize it after they leave you? That's how I feel right now. <laughs> Motel room key. The key to the motel room that Hyoko was staying in, it was buried deep inside her kimono. So. Hmm. That just means she was. The whole. She was an abducted thing, right? Not abducted, she went out into the music venue on her own accord. A thick scrap of paper that was stuck to the baton lighting. The wallpaper that was on the pillar, right? It seems to be the same pattern, if I remember correctly. It would explain why there were less posters than before, too. Music venue curtain. A black curtain at the very back of the music venue stage. It is not wide enough to reach the sides of the stage. It looks like it was brought from the supermarket and not something that was originally here. A stepladder was found on the music venue stage, tipped on its side. On its left side, a slight blood stain can be seen. Left side. Left side? Wait. That's the side that shows in the video, right? So, when we were looking at the video, there was no blood stain. You know, the fact that we had the whole projector thing with Chiaki in the room, in the conference room, is it trying to say that the footage was pre recorded? Like, if you point the camera at the screen that the projector was projecting onto, right? Then you could pretty much use a pre recorded video to be 
to pretend to be live, right? A candle was found at the front of the music venue stage. It looks like the dim light seen in the surveillance camera video was actually light from this candle. Does this candle support the theory that the thing we saw was not in the music venue? Because the reason you use a candle is because there is no other light source, right? Hajime mentioned earlier, Hey, how come the person didn't use the baton lighting? But isn't that because it was actually in the conference room so there was no baton lighting panel? Maybe? No? Yes? Surveillance camera unit put inside the music venue for communication purposes. It's been smashed into pieces and no longer works. Well... Hmm... When we first saw Ibuki, I don't believe we looked at the ground. So I don't know if the killer transported the broken stuff here later or what. Remember that Mikan and Fuyuhiko, they could have very well gone to the music venue while we were at the motel. So... Mikan... Hmm... I don't wanna... Could it really be? Akane is kind of fishy too, like, like I'm just thinking right now. If Ibuki was doing something weird, it's because someone gave her an order to do so, right? So, if the motel people didn't come over to the hospital, it would mean that someone inside the hospital was ordering her to do stuff. So that's Akane, Nagito, or Mikan. Don't know who it is. AC temperature. Yeah, it was very hot. I'm not sure how this... Yeah, hot- wait, hot- the hotness- hotness- the heat was to mask the time of death, right? To mask that Hyoko died first? Was that the only purpose though, or was that like a side effect? Because the- the gooey stuff, the gooey stuff on the door, that was also because of the temperature, right? Smudge on the floor, evidence that a bloodstain was wiped off the floor of the music venue stage. Since Ibuki had no open wounds, it's believed the blood belonged to Hyoko. Again, trying to mask Hiyoko's time of death. A strange glob that was stuck to where both music venue doors touched each other. No clue? No clue why this is necessary if they had the drumsticks. Mikan's account. Right up until the Monokuma announcement that morning, Mikan was with Hajime the whole time. Afterwards, she went to the hospital to check on everyone and realized that Ibuki had disappeared. When she rushed out of the hospital to search for Ibuki, she apparently met up with Fuyuhiko. You know, earlier, when uh, Mikan was telling us this part, I don't know if I'm being oversensitive because I'm suspecting her right now, but I felt like she was telling me a bunch of stuff to make sure that I know she has an alibi. Like, I'm not sure why she was so insistent on me getting the timeline right and everything. It was just kind of... Almost felt a little bit out of character. She was like, Hey Hajime, you know that I was with you the whole time, right? So it couldn't have been me. Like that. Surveillance surveillance monitor video. The video that Hajime saw at the hospital shows a person dressed in a hospital gown, wearing a hemp bag on their head as they willingly climb a stepladder toward a noose. Yeah... Hmm... Okay, if this was in the conference room, pre-recorded... Well, I don't even know if it has to be pre-recorded. Maybe it's not. But, um... Hold on. If this whole thing was in the conference room and it wasn't pre-recorded, that means while we were in the lobby, someone was in the conference room. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, we know that Mika went to the on-call room. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Do we got something here? Hmm... Fuyuhiko's account. After Fuyuhiko met Mikan at the front of the hospital, they split up to look for Ibuki. They checked the movie theater and Electric Avenue, but they didn't find anyone. Apparently, Fuyuhiko and Mikan were only separated for a short time. Hmm... Could be... yeah, could be like trying to create an alibi. Hmm... Hyoko was distraught because her kimono was disheveled and she was unable to tie it on her own. That's when Sonia apparently told her about the full-length mirror in the music venue storage room. Hmm... The invitation ticket prepared by Monokuma. One ticket was passed out per person and the date was passed out. The date it was passed out is printed on the ticket. I'm not sure how this comes into play, but I'm sure we'll find out during the trial. A Monomi tote bag that was sold at the movie theater. It's a limited item because only one person can buy it. Apparently, you can get another bag for free when you purchase it. Okay, so the killer. The killer could have used one bag to pretend that- to do the whole video thing, right? And then the other bag for Ibuki's head. Okay. 
Wait, does that make sense? Well, that's one way to explain it, I guess. Yeah, it's definitely for sure they use two bags because they're telling us so here. But, hmm. The Wizard of Monomi, the movie that Monokuma directed. There were a total of three deaths in the movie. First, Monomi's scarecrow died by hanging herself. Next, Monomi line was pumped full of arrows. Finally, Monomi Tinman died by getting chopped into metal pieces. There are two victims this time. Oh, that's the same one. Okay, well, that's pretty much all the truth bullets then. Kind of vague, but I would have to say that... Um... Hmm... Oh, let's see here. Okay... It's not Chiaki. It's not Gundam. It can't be them, because we saw them at the motel. But what if it was pre-planned? Kazuichi? Um... Hmm... I don't know. Like, once you get the idea in your head that someone's kind of stupid and they can't do much, I feel like they can't really plan out a murder. Actually, if I think about it like that, I kind of doesn't really have the brains for that either, I don't think. But what if she was hiding it the whole time? <laughs> I don't know, man. Sonia? Sonia gave us a clue, so... I don't think... I don't think she's the killer, but I don't have proof of that. Anyway, all I know is Chiaki and Gundam are not the killers. That's all I know, really. And, um, Mikan, though. Yeah, like I said, the hospital people are suspicious. I don't know why I'm not suspecting Nagito, though. I just don't feel like... <laughs> I just don't think he would kill us. Not at this stage, anyway. Despite his general unfriendliness, or not... Actually, he's not the one unfriendly. I'm the one who doesn't want to be friends with him. He doesn't seem... I don't know, sometimes he seems okay. If I forget about what he did earlier, yeah, then he's okay. But anyway, we will come back later, later, very, very soon, to find out what happened in Chapter 3. See you soon.